What's up YouTube? Graver here, and I have a review video today. And today I am going to go over something that I normally would not have bought if I did not get at least a decent amount off of it, but what I have here is, since everyone is talking about the Rapid Strike, I am going a little prior to that, and I am going to talk about the Strife. Um, now, two things. One, I normally do not like flywheel blasters. My friend John uh, Caboose247 has a barricade, and that thing is loud as balls, and... I've just not been a fan of that because especially once you overvolt these things, they sound like, they sound horrendous. And I'm not sensitive to sound, but I just cannot stand the sound of those overvolted motors just going. Yeah. But it was like, uh, no, I just couldn't deal with it. But everyone has been like, like fawning all over this freaking thing. And I decided, all right, I'll give it a shot. What the hell? Everyone says it's much more quiet than the barricade. But the only thing that got me was, because I was very much looking forward to that Rapid Strike CS-18, except for the fact that I saw it and I'm like, yes, the Stampede's Elite version. I love the Stampede. And then I found out it's Flywheel, and I'm like, I, I don't care anymore. Um, just because it's the fourth Flywheel Blaster that's in the Elite Series line, you have this... You have the Stockade, which has yet to see a U.S. release, but it's the Barricade. You have the re-release of the Raven, and now you have the uh, now you have the uh, Rapid Strike. That's four of the same freaking guns. It's like, you know what, don't call it the Elite Series, call it the COD Series, or the Battlefield Series, because seriously, it's the, sa it's the main reason why I don't play those games, and it's because... You have an array of weapons, like all these different, like machine guns. They all do the same power, and they all do, and it's just different aesthetics. All of these, they're all flywheel blasters. They all hit 75 feet, so all they are are different shells to me. But I give, I'll give the Strife a shot, and I'm slightly impressed. I'm actually pretty impressed with this. Now, this is a bone stock review. I have done nothing to it. Every single lock that this thing comes with is in place as we speak. Um, let me go over the aesthetics, and then I'll go over performance, that kind of stuff. Aesthetically, it's not bad. Um, I'm getting used to the whole non-symmetrical blaster thing, because with if you look down the center, this side is completely flat, and you have all the electronics and the motors on this side. So this side, you get, it's kind of lumpy, and it looks cool, but then this side, you get the nice flat profile, so it's like you're getting almost two, it's like you're getting two designs in one. Um, this is, this is actually great for right-handed people, although I am lefty, because you can just put it, like, on a, up against your leg, and, you know, you don't have to worry about the bumps or anything like that. For a left-handed person, not so much. You'd have to pretty much make this a primary unless you want to draw from the right and then switch hands like as after you draw. Um, the handle is pretty comfortable actually, even with the um, even with the ac the activation trigger, it is pretty comfortable. Um, it does feel a little small just because the sling mount is part of it. So when I wrap my hand around it. The back of my palm does feel like it kind of loses a little bit, but outside of that, it's totally fine to me because it's fairly reminiscent of the Alpha Trooper or the um, the Retaliator's um, uh, handle. It's just it cuts in a little sooner, I guess, the, for, because the sling mount, uh, the way they did the sling mount. So it cuts in a little sooner, so that's why it does feel a little weird. But honestly, if you hold it for a few seconds, it feels totally natural to me. Um, you get a stock attachment piece, uh, which is cool, so you can put stock attachments to make it tactical. I have my retaliator here, which I'm going to strip for parts, and you can put a stock attachment on here. And it's actually also cool because you can do um, barrel extensions on it, too. Not that these really ever help ranges, but you can extend the barrel to give it a more tactical profile, um, which i got to say, it does... It does make it look nice. Um, 
Now, without any attachments on it, you get two tack rails, one on top for an optic or whatever, and one down here, mainly for either a tack light or um, a grip. I actually sold my um, my Raider, my, my Raider, my Retaliator's foregrip to um, my buddy Hero, basically for a six-pack of Dr. Pepper because I didn't like that grip. He wanted one, and I really didn't want much for it, so it was a good trade-off. Um, so that's pretty much it. Um, on to the out, onto the additionals is it doesn't come with any accessories. Which, for some reason, a lot of the new Nerf Elite series is not. Um, it comes with one six-round clip with one pack of six darts. Um, not bad. Um, I would have preferred a 12-round clip since that's what the Retaliator had originally came with. And that's what this Alpha Trooper is being sent out with. Um, again, that is me. I would have liked this. I would have liked it. Um, I'm sure they did this because at the same time... Oh, that was the other thing. I forgot the Hellfire. That ugly god awful piece of crap. That's another flywheel. So that's actually five flywheel blasters in the Elite Series line. And this is supposed to be innovative? So um, that comes with six-round clips originally, which, again, that kind of baffles me too. But I guess they didn't want people just buying them for four 18-round clips. Although you could have done that with the 12 round clips too. Back on topic. Comes with one six set of uh, six round clips. The this thing is locked out the ass. Um, like seriously, um, Marion's chastity belt from um, Robin Hood Men in Tights will look at this thing and go, "Holy fuck!" Um, you cannot rev. Now this already has batteries in it. You cannot rev without a clip in it. You cannot. Squeeze the trigger, even even with the um, acceleration trigger depressed, you still can't squeeze it. Jam door open will not rev. So only rev when there's a clip in there. And I will say this, and now this may be, again, just my prejudice against the flywheel blasters, but even though this is quieter, this is still a little loud for my taste. Everyone always says, oh, it's so quiet, it's so quiet, it's so quiet. I was expecting, like, no hum or very, very low. This, I don't know how well it's picking up on camera, but being right here, to me, this still seems a little loud. Um, but it also has that, um, that other um, little wonderful... Uh, lock that will keep you from pressing the trigger down if there is not a dart in the clip. Now, I understand these safety features. I am not a big proponent of safety features, or at least in these things, because I'm an adult. I know what the hell I'm doing. Um, I've been shot in the eye, but it wasn't my fault. Um, any, Usually any blaster I get, the first thing to go is Always the AR and always the locks. That's regardless of whatever I do with it. Unless for some reason I'm keeping it completely and totally stock. Um, but that one piece that every, that I did just mention, it's a little piece. It's not even an electronic lock. It's just a little plastic lock that actually keeps the trigger from depressing when there is not a dart present. It's like a little lift gate almost. Now, I've seen reviews where people have tried to successfully rapid fire this thing and get it jammed up on it because of that lock. I actually did not run into that feature, so I don't know if it's because if this is a newer model that they've actually kind of laxed on that a little bit or what, but I had no problems with it beforehand when I was playing around with this. I'm going to do a firing test. I'm going to do a six round, and I also have a 12 round clip here. Um, this I'm going to fire off slowly one at a time. This I'm actually going to try and rapid fire because I figured if I rapid fire the six, maybe that's why it's not jamming because it's so low. If I fire a 12 round, maybe that might actually kind of jam it up a little bit, but we'll, tr you know, if it happens on camera, it happens on camera. I have a little bag here because I'm sick and tired of shooting down the garage and having to go look for darts and fucking losing them. So here we go. There's one still in the bag here. That is an extra, so where did this come from? I don't know where that came from. 
Alright, so, um, oh, and one more neat little feature I found out is, depending on the clip, um, because of the clip release, um, how it's here, it's called the AK style clip release. Um, cool thing I found is you can actually just do this with the clips. Again, depending on the clip. But if you get a nice loose fitting clip, you can just, in the heat of the battle, you can just toss it right out and just go to your next one. Um, so this is the six round and I will do the slow. Okay. Batteries I'm using are brand new uh, AA door cells. No, I'm sorry, energizers. Um, not that door cell or energizer matters or not. But these are basically the these are normal 1.5 volts, so it's six volts going through this thing. Um, so there's no voltage modding on it or anything like that or trust wires. All right, and here's the 12 rounds. And I'm going to try and do these as quick as I can, and hopefully not jam it and make myself look like an ass. And that is spent. So, I was able to fire that off pretty quick with that lock still in place. So, it could be darts that do that. These were all elite darts. Um... So it could be the dark side itself, because I remember Bobo was doing that test, and he kept jamming up. I think that might have been because he was also using regular streamlines and not just all elites, um, which I actually now have. I've gotten rid of almost all of my streamlines, and actually, you know what? I'm sorry. I do have some streamlines, so you know what? It's science experiment time. I am going to actually try and fire off a bunch of regular streamlines and see if that is what's causing the jam up. Oh, and a side note, I was playing around with this at work and I was able to fire suction tip darts out of it. Um, so, yeah, fun little side note. So if you want, ever want to launch a suction, top, a suction cup 75 feet, you can do it with this. All right, so here we go. 12 regular streamlines. We have our winner. Okay, the little lock that is right, if you, if, you open, if you look down the magwell, you can see this little, just independent piece of, yellow, of orange plastic just floating. That is the clip lock that's causing those jams. I have now fully determined that that jam is by using um, regular streamlined darts in this blaster. This cannot handle, with that lock in place, it will not take regular streamlines. That's what jams this up. If you use elite, if you use all elite darts, this thing works exactly as it should. So therefore, you don't even have to open it up to take that little lock out. Um, in conclusion, I actually like this. Um, I didn't think I really was going to be a big, a big fan of it. Um, I figured I'd get it, try it out, and probably sell it. But I actually might keep this. This is actually very cool. I do enjoy this. Um, I would say your best bet to get this is to go to uh, Target and pick this up. At Target, these are $19.99. Uh, Toys R Us normally sell, the, sell these for, I believe it's about $32, um, which is a gigantic ripoff. So if you can get these at Target, get them. I don't know if they sell these at Walmart. Um, I don't remember seeing them, so I really can't say for 100% certainty on it and what the cost would be. Um Clowny, if you're watching this, can you give me a heads up on that? Uh, just because I haven't seen them in my locals. I don't know if maybe your store has them. Um, so that's my review of the Strife. I really enjoy this. It's really cool. And if you use stock darts, this thing will should not jam. I did not experience any 
any jams with this using elite only darts. I only started mixing jams using old streamlines. So that is my review of the Strife. Thank you very much for watching. Please like and subscribe if you enjoyed this video. And 